our, all of our galleries at the new ICA are on the fourth floor. Um, they're split down the middle. On one side, we have large galleries for, for our temporary, our major temporary exhibitions. Uh, on the other side, we have three discrete spaces. We're in the permanent collection galleries. There are also spaces for uh, our momentum exhibitions, which is our sort of project space exhibitions for young artists. And then we have our uh, Foster Prize exhibitions uh, also on, on this side. Um, our galleries are totally con reconfigurable. We can build walls uh, however we need to to suit our installations. Uh, we can use all different kinds of light, natural, artificial. Uh, we can do dark spaces for video installations. Uh, we really have so much more flexibility in this building than we had in the previous ICA. And uh, this will ena enable us to uh, mount exhibitions uh, of, of uh, world-class status. We're standing in the uh, entryway to uh, our supervision exhibition, which is our major uh, temporary exhibition that we're opening our new building with. Uh, it was curated by the chief curator, Nicholas Bohm. Uh, there are works by uh, nearly 30 artists in this exhibition of uh, uh, older artists, younger artists, artists from the United States, artists from uh, abroad. It's a real sort of cross-section of what's happening today in contemporary art, and it's focused on ideas of vision and sight, and particular the ways that uh, vision has changed in the contemporary era, the way that technologies, new technologies, digital technologies have enabled us to uh, expand our vision. Uh, on the other hand, it's about uh, how we are now being looked at, and the culture of surveillance uh, and uh, kind of scrutiny that has uh, arisen in the past uh, couple of decades. So here is a painting by Bridget Riley, uh, a British artist uh, famous uh, as part of the, the op art movement of the 1960s. And this indeed is a painting called Pause from 1964. Now, this is before the kind of digital era, before the era of the computer, before the era of Photoshop, before the era of pixelation. Uh, and yet it, it seems to, it shows us a kind of space and a kind of image that that is, we might be very familiar with today, a kind of a space that folds in on itself, a kind of curved or warped space that looks like it could have been made by a computer. Uh, over here, next to it, is a large photograph by the German photographer Andreas Gursky. Uh, it's called Shanghai, and it's from 2000. And in a way, it shows the, the same kind of space as the uh, Bridget Riley painting. I mean, the Riley painting is an abstract painting. This is a representational photograph. Uh, they would seem to be different. And yet, the Gursky painting is just as uh, warped, space is just as warped, just as curved, uh, and just as kind of disturbed as in the, as in the Riley painting. Um, incidentally, it shows the lobby of a Shanghai hotel, uh, the, the yellow color coming from uh, it's not photoshopped, it's not an added color, it's just the, the product of um, the, the existing artificial light in the lobby and the, the kind of film and, and film speed that Gursky uh, himself was using in his camera.